There. Yep. Hello. Hi, Greg. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Hey, thanks. Good. Good to see you. Well, we're all set. We're recording. And uh, we'll just start it out this way. Tracy McMillan, hey. a pleasure to have you here with me today. And uh, we're going to talk about your show, Family or Fiance. I, I got to tell you, after watching it, I'm really glad I've been married for 30 years. So everything is good. Uh, <laughs> did you have problems with the family in the beginning? Uh, no, because uh, actually my my parents were the only ones still living at the time we got married and they adored my wife. So it was all kind of good that way. And so, but I had been in, you know, previous relationships where people would kind of go, were you ever sober? You know, when you were dating this person? <laughs> what was going on right. but mm -hmm. we, we get to see with you just so many different things what what even surprised you out of all the stuff well you know I have to say I don't get surprised that often and one of the things as a relationship coach that I feel like I want to share with people in general is that there's a lot of science in relationships. We think relationships are sort of like, you know, magic or, you know, we listen to our best friends or our moms about what is going to make a relationship work. But in fact, there's a lot of data on this. And um, I'm here to say, once you understand what makes a relationship work, you can either take those actions or not. And if you take those actions, chances are you will be led toward a more secure, stable, and happy relationship. And if you don't, there's lots of research that shows here, if you don't do these things, you won't be happy. And you will be headed either toward unhappily together or divorced. Mm -hmm. and, and again, like you said, when you- Not a lot of surprises is my point, sorry. Right, right. Because it, it never fails. Like in some of the episodes I'd watch, there would always be that one person who brought up a relationship you were in back in the past, like it was just yesterday. And that would cause mm -hmm. conflict. Yes, conflict. I mean, here's the thing about families. They push our buttons because they installed our buttons. So very often we choose partners based on something we either did or did not get in our families of origin. Mm -hmm. Like when you tell me you've been married 30 years and that your parents loved your choice of partner, that makes perfect sense because you have what is called secure functioning relationship. So when you have a secure relationship, the parents see, because they know what that looks like, unless they themselves have a lot of dysfunction. <laughs> so sometimes it's about figuring out, is there something going on in the couple or is there something going on in the family? And once we identify that, we know where to start doing work. Yeah, because you know, like you said, everybody's on your show is getting all the folks together. And it, it is, it's just kind of like this bizarre thing where the families who did like each other or, you know, like the person, it was great to see, but uh, yeah. And then, you know, just other like insecurities, like you had mentioned, all of a sudden start coming out and you just kind of think, okay, maybe it is good that we caught this in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, not every relationship has to last forever. Some of these relations, we're, I'm just looking for what is in the highest good of all involved. And sometimes that means breaking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've seen that you know, as well, you know, before, like some, some friends are better off divorced than they were married. Because uh, again, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll even bring this up when you'd asked about my parents. My parents were married for 21 years and got divorced because of, you know, situation. Mm -hmm. They were both to an extent, well, I was eight when they got divorced, but they were both best friends at the end of their lives. There wasn't anything my father wouldn't do for my mother and vice versa. And in fact, when my wife first met them, she thought that they were still married until I introduced her to my dad's wife. And she's like, what? But yeah, it's just that type of situation. Did your mom ever find another partner? Not, no, uh, she you know dated, but no one that she ever got married to. But, I think that's fairly common, actually. Mm -hmm. I feel like men oftentimes really hit the target in their second marriage. Like they figure out what they need and then they go get it in the second marriage. And then women oftentimes go, you know what? I'm kind of fine. I have my kids. I have my dog. I have my friends. I'm chill. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause so, I just, I mean, cause it's, with, with most guys, yeah. yeah it's kind of like you learn from each relationship or at least you hope to where it's like, okay, I kind of messed up on this before. I'm not going to do that again. Cause that was no fun. Right. So let me just try and get it all together. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the show, it runs on the own network and it is one of those where obviously it's serious stuff, but then also it's got a little bit of everything, drama, humor and you know just mm -hmm. all types of you know things that you get to see so that's even fun for the audience to watch absolutely i think everyone who watches can identify with everybody in the show sometimes you identify with the mom sometimes you identify with someone in the couple like really people have universal problems you know mm -hmm. um, the problems might be specific to each family but in fact, there's, you know, we're all just people. And you really see that when you watch the show. And the show makes you laugh, it makes you cry. We do real healing. I would say 90% of the time, if not more, when the family leaves, there's a whole sense of gratitude and like a lot has been uncovered and a lot has been healed. That's for sure. Tracy, thank you so much. Enjoyed this. It was also being able to get stuff off of my own mind, you know, as well, so great. Um, yeah <laughs> but thanks so much and i just want to throw this in real quick there's a movie out now called i'm your man it's in german with english subtitles but you get okay. by the real quick it's really great because it's about people who are able to make their own uh mate but but it's artificial intelligence but yeah, it looks like yeah. a real human mm -hmm. and it's so mm -hmm. weird because this That's one lady does very, huh? right she picked you know all of the things she wanted and at the end she didn't want it you know, what oh, yeah. of course not. So <laughs> that just... surprises me not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Well, again, thank you so much for your time and enjoyed watching and look forward to talking yeah. to you again.